couch Dogs need the lesson Hey there Lickin' Riffers, welcome back to yet another awesome fingerstyle arrangement lesson right here on Lickin' Riff and in this video we're gonna learn Take My Breath Away, one of the most beautiful songs of the 1980s in my opinion. First I'm gonna play it for you so you can see and hear how it goes and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick, chord by chord, note by note with tabs right here on the screen as usual. It goes like this, enjoy. <laughs> So the heart of the song is the main riff and you start with 0-2 on the 4th and the 3rd strings. Okay, you can hammer them on, okay, you can pick all the notes and then you have G. So it's just 3 on the 6th string with the open 3rd and 4th. Okay. Then you have okay, 0 on the fourth string inside the B minor chord. So we open fourth and then B minor with strings four and five on four and two. Okay, so then you have zero two on the fourth string into an E minor chord. Okay, so you play strings four and six together. And then you have a D chord. So it's 0-4 again on the 4th string, but with 5 on the 5th. And then immediately, okay, the 0-2s again on strings 4 and 3. So the idea here is to play the riff and then play the chord freestyle. Okay, just arpeggiating the chord. The idea here is to explore ways you can play the chord in between the melody lines, right? So that's a really cool challenge. And then, after you played the zero twos, uh, you can play this in a loop, okay, how many times you like. And then uh, starts the verse. So it's G with three, 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 three on the E string and then three on the B string. So you can put this G with three and three. And then you have B minor. So again, it's strings E, 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 B. So it's two, 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 three, okay? okay? on the E string and the B string, it's all in the chord. Then you have 
E minor with the open E string. Then you have the last line of the, uh, the riff, 0, 4 on the 4th string into a D chord, so with 5 on the 5th. And then you have the, the zero twos again. That's a really cool name for, a, for an 80s band, right? The, the zero twos. Um, then you have the... Uh, G, B minor, and E minor. An example in changing the rhythm of the chord, that was. Um, and then you have... Um, three pull off to zero on the second string after E minor, so it's... Just because that's what she's singing there. Um, and then you have... Okay, you have the D line from the intro, and then... 0, 2 on the 4th, and then... Open 3rd, open 2nd. Then you have... A minor. 5, 5, 5 on strings, 1, 2, and 3. With the 5th string open, you play the chord, and then it's just 5s on the E string, and then 5 on the B string. Then you have C with threes on the E string, and then at the very end you slide to five. Then a D, a D chord with two pull offs zero on the um, first string, and then three on the B string. And then okay, um, A and D, but you need to mute the A string. M which makes this example, the way I played it, wrong. It's not this, it's, it's the thumb, and then you mute and play the next string. Okay, so... Okay, you want to mute the A string. Then you have the G and B minor again. But instead of E minor, you play A minor. You play the open first and fifth string, and then three pull off the one on the second, you have time, just a little bit, to play the A minor chord, and then you have A, D again, and then you have to play the D chord, okay, just to show that you changed the chord. So just play it, again, freestyle. And that's your verse. Then you have the chorus, the chorus. Okay, three on the second, zero, three, five on the first, and then G, three on the E string. Then you have... A second variation on the main riff. So you played the main, uh, the main line, Take My Breath Away, the title of the song, you reach the G chord, then you play the 0 4 on the fourth string into B minor, just like in the intro, but then you have 0 3 on the fifth string into C. So you have to play the chord. Then you have 3 on the fifth, 2 0 on the fourth, back to D. And then you have to play the chord. Okay, so again, freestyle. a block chord there, strings 1, 2, and 3 for a D chord. Then you repeat it, and then okay, the 0, 2's again, back to the verse. Then you have the bridge. Um, in my opinion, they put a bridge there because somehow it's become this necessity to put bridges in songs, C parts. You don't really have to put a bridge part in a song if it doesn't belong there. And in my opinion, this bridge doesn't really belong in the song, but it's just an A chord, bar on two with the open fifth string with fives on the E string. And then at the very end, you bar the whole fret, the whole second fret and play two on the sixth string, okay? Making this F sharp minor. And then you have, okay, it's D. 5, 3, 2 on strings 1, 2, and 3 with the D string. And you play 5, 3, 2, 0 on the E string, and then G with 3 on the 2nd string. Then you play this again. Okay, play it again. Then you play 0, 2, 3, 5 on the E string, and then A with the open E string. And then 3, 3, 3, 3 on the second string, then pull off to 0 with the D string. Ah, sorry, it's 3, 3, 3, 0, and then 3 pull off to 0 with the D string. And then 2 on the third string. 
And then you just go back to the chorus and then the verse again and you just play it to your heart's content. So you go play it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. There's a ton of lessons, hundreds of lessons literally in the channel already waiting for you. So subscribe and download the tab. The link is below in the description. Uh, everything is for free. The lessons for free. The, the tab is for free. But if you want to give something back anyway, uh, there's a Patreon uh, link in the description as well, or you can use the donation button on the channel, uh, on the website when you go download the tab. Anything you give back goes right back into Lick and Ref into making your guitar education your next lessons. So uh, thank you, and I thank you in advance for your generosity. So um, I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Enjoy this.